Hey everybody, this is Kevin. I'm with Bohemian Interactive Simulations. Today we're going to talk about basic artillery tools in VBS4, specifically for the Ford Observer use case. As you can see, here's my trainee, and I'm currently in the real-time editor. That means that the simulation is currently in progress. I've already talked about how this interface is structured and how the tools are laid out in another video, so we're going to jump straight into it. Uh, first things first, uh, I've got a measure distance tool so I can see the range and bearing from the trainee to the target in case I need to do anything with that information. Uh, and let's get a better view of the target. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have to have VBS radio or some other, some other comm solution set up so that we can communicate um, in standard fashion. Uh, once we have that set up, uh, we're going to be able to use the artillery strike editor object uh, to get the desired effects on the desired target. So the first thing we're going to do is select the artillery strike object on the left and then double click anywhere where we want the munitions to land. This menu allows me to determine what type of munitions and what type of fuse will have as well as other parameters for the, um, the number of rounds, how long, the, how many guns there are, so on and so forth. Before we actually call in the fire mission, I want to talk about this menu, the set GPS coordinates button. This allows me to input any type of coordinates uh, in the system and have that specific editor object move to that location. So if I get uh, uh, a coordinate from the trainee that's an MGRS, I update this and then press save and then the object will move to that specific location. Uh, with that being said, let's call on this fire mission just one single round just to take a look at the effect on target. Get a better view. Again, you can see the uh, desired uh, effect on target. That's just one simple way to call in a um, fire mission. Again, the rounds are created in uh, above the target, so you're not going to get um, a realistic time of flight. This is just for, I want the trainee to see an effect at this specific location. If we want to, let's take a look at another uh, system. In this case, this is a, another simple system. This is just using uh, already placed objects on the terrain. This is a 6 millimeter mortar. could be a 155 Paladin or an MLRS or something like that. But let's go back to the target. Uh, and what I can do is I can right click on the object and I can select order fire support. And then once I click where I want the round to land, I can determine what kind of uh, weapon he's going to use, what the trajectory of the round will be, what kind of uh, number of rounds he'll fire, as well as other parameters towards uh, debug and estimated time of uh, flight. This is very important because now, contrary to the um, artillery strike editor object, these rounds will actually originate and come from a specific object. So if you need to simulate the uh, little sky big bullet paradox, uh, this is a good way to do it. So I just had him do it. I'm going to turn on shot trajectory so we can see the time of or the round in flight. Get a nice little view of it. Uh, it's important to note while this round flies, we actually got a quick little demonstration of it. Uh, VBS4 simulates the speed of sound. So the round was already in flight for about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. And once uh, it took about uh, a couple seconds for, from the sound, for the sound to get from the uh, artillery piece to the camera's location. So again, it's something to take note of in the uh, simulation. So there goes the round. You can see that the round actually originated from the mortar's location and will impact exactly where I told it to go. Let's get a nice view of that. And there we have the impact. Again, this has been a very brief demonstration of uh, basic artillery systems in VBS4. Uh, there's a more complex system called uh, Call for Fire, but we're not going to cover that in this particular video. That'll be in a different video. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this demonstration showcasing basic artillery systems in VBS4. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us on our website. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.